Hello everybody, my name is Chris. In this video I will talk about the various focus areas that can be configured on the Sony RX 105A, and most likely on all the other cameras of the current Sony lineup with the same features as well. I have already made another video about the different focus modes, the link can be found in the card on top of the screen in case you are interested. On the RX 105A the focus area can be changed either in the menu or in a quick menu when pressing the function button while being in a photo mode. You can select one of the following settings. Number one, wide. Wide focuses on a subject that covers the whole range of the screen. The camera will utilize all of its autofocus detection points. When the shutter button is halfway pressed, green frames are being displayed around the area in focus. This can be a bit tricky if you want the camera to focus on something specific, but there are many objects with different distances on the screen. Number two, zone. As you can see, zone allows you to select a specific zone on the screen, which is represented by the gray marks that you can see on the screen. It is still rather big, so there is still some guesswork for the camera involved as well. You can move the zone by selecting this option then using the control wheel to move the zones. To select the desired zone, press the center button on the control wheel to confirm. Owners of the RX100 Mark VI have an advantage here, as they can just use the touch screen to move the zone selector. Number 3. Center. Center automatically focuses on a subject in the center of the frame. With this method you can use the focus lock function. So half pressing the shutter button then moving the object in the screen to change composition. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. A flexible spot allows you to select a very narrow focusing frame and you can move it to any desired area of the screen. By turning the control wheel you can also change the size of the focusing frame. In expand flexible spot, if the camera cannot focus on a single selected point within the area, it will use the focus points around the flexible spot as a secondary area to try to focus on. This means you will not have to be as exact in keeping the subject within this area. Lock on AF allows you to track the subject within the selected autofocus area when the shutter button stays half pressed. For this focus mode, the camera has to be set to continuous autofocus, as this tracks the subject in motion. You can change the tracking start area by using the control wheel. Note you can also switch between lock on expand flexible spot, lock on wide, lock on zone, lock on center, lock on flexible spot small, medium, large, and back expand flexible spot by moving the right and left control wheel buttons. Once you select it, you can move it using the control wheel buttons. Once you have selected the subject, and the subject, or the camera in this case, moves, the camera will stay focused on this subject. You can notice the autofocus detection points showing where it focuses. Instead of having to always set the autofocus area each time you go into the photo mode of the camera, you can also pre-register a specific area on the screen and then assign it to a custom key. For instance, if you prefer to shoot specific shots with the object always and the right third, you can configure the focus area to start there. To call up the registered focus area, set the camera to the shooting mode, hold down the key you have assigned and then press the shutter button to shoot images. You can also set up IAF by assigning it to a custom key. To use IAF, you should first point the camera at a person's face, then press the configured custom button and then the shutter button simultaneously. Please be aware that IEF is not available in high frame rate or movie mode. There are also some obvious other limitations, like when a person is wearing sunglasses, the light situation is not good, the person is much out of focus, or the person is moving too much. Also not available in all autofocus modes or under all shooting conditions is the face detection feature, which is quite handy when making many pictures of people. What you also can do is pre-register up to 8 faces under face registration and then give each of them a priority order over other faces that the camera might find. 
This will ensure your camera will direct the focus on your friends or family members, not someone else in the screen. Of course, there are again some limitations to this, like for instance, when the face might be obscured by a hat, a mask, sunglasses, or when the lighting conditions are bad. Something I haven't touched yet is the autofocus drive speed in movie mode. This can be switched between fast, normal, or slow, and is being used for changing the speed of the autofocus. Another feature that can be set for movie mode is the autofocus track sensitivity to keep moving objects focused. I have the feeling that I might still have missed many of the possibilities. However, as you can see, the Sony RX 105A, 6, and all the other Sony cameras with the same features let you adjust the settings to a very, very fine amount of detail. If you've liked this video, please consider pressing the like button. If you didn't, just press the dislike button. Thanks for watching.